Hey, what's up, nerds? It's Paul here at Radio Free Hammer Hall. Today, we are going to talk about optimizing the use of Sloppity Bile Piper and Spoilpox Scrivener. Coming up with which one is more beneficial if you're only going to be running one, and how to combine different buffs, which buffs are best in what situations. So let's take a look at what we got here. Sloppity Bile Piper has three options. Um, all affect all demons wholly within 14 inches, and Spoilpox Scrivener, he only impacts plague bearers that are wholly within 14 inches and only one unit at a time. Sloppy Bile Piper, he can give you plus one attack, doing mortal wounds on sixes to hit, and preventing enemy pile-in. Spoilpox Scrivener also gives you plus one attack, he can add one rend or add one to save. So, what's better? What? How do we use these? What uh, are the preferences we have here? Because these are all really good abilities. So let's take a look. The units that we're probably going to be using these on are our Plague Bearers that are typically going to be our battle line. And they're a really strong anvil unit. Although, as we'll see here, we can pop off some serious attacks here and there with them. Um... Your Plague Drones are primarily your Hammer unit, and then your Puscoil Blight Lords, uh, they have high mobility in conjunction with the Lord of Afflictions. Um, they also can hit just about as hard as Plague Drones do, but they're not Plague Bearers, so they're not going to be benefiting from, uh, from Spoilpox Scrivener. Only Sloppity Bile Piper. So once again, I did a whole lot of math to try and figure all of this out, and uh, I'm going to spare you that, unless you want to just sit here and analyze this, but this isn't all of the spreadsheets. This is just a little couple of screenshots just to give you a flavor of what I'm saving you from. So, some notes on the preface. Uh, the enemy save definitely is relevant in this because we're talking about attacks that are going to be going into an enemy save. Um, and that's going to determine whether or not uh, certain buffs are going to be better than others. Plague drones get all kinds of buffs, and they had um, tons of synergy. It's hard to get all of the buffs on them at one time. That's kind of the only trick there. Great Unclean One and Glotkin both offer plus one to attack buffs. We're only going to assume that there's one of these present um, and available to buff the unit as well. Um, your command points are scarce in Nurgle, so we're just going to assume you only have one command point per turn to spend on buffing attacks. So also, we're not really going to be evaluating the defensive capabilities of these two options. I will uh, make some notes about that at the end, but for right now, um, it, the issue is Sloppity Bile Piper's fart ability is really not quantifiable. So, you know, we can infer some things from that, but uh, mainly the thing that we're going to be looking at is our attacks, and we'll be calculating attacks versus a 4-up and a 5-up save to see... Um, you know, in what situations different abilities are going to be more beneficial. So for Plague Drones, uh, Sloppity Bile Piper's Mortal Wounds are the best choice. If you you have a Sloppity Bile Piper in range, always choose his Mortal Wounds on 6 to hit as your ability that goes along with that. Um, attacks are good, but they're not as good as doing the mortal wounds. Uh, for spoil pox, his extra attacks obviously are the best choice. Um, the rend does not give as much of an impact as extra attacks do, even with all of the attacks that are coming off of that profile. Um, so if you can only pick one buff, go with Sloppity Bile Piper's Mortal Wounds. That's really um, going to be a theme that we're going to see here going through all of this. Um, it, it, fully buffed up drones, by the way, are Nurgle's best 
hammer unit. Uh, a unit of them can do uh, almost 18 damage against a 4-up save uh, if they're buffed to the gills. So uh, keep that in mind, that uh, especially with these additional buffs that we can throw on them now, like, they're just a crazy hammer. So, Puscoil Blight Lords, they're only a little bit worse than your Plague Drones in general. Uh, because, you know, the Plague Drones, it's going to be hard to get that many buffs on them all the time. So in the kind of categories where you're most likely going to be able to get that many buffs, um, your Puscoil Blight Lords are eh, a little bit behind, but not a ton. Um, if only one buff is available, you want to make sure that it's going to be extra attacks. Um... Mortal Wounds on sixes from Sloppity Bile Piper are only, like, fractionally worse. Not, like, a ton worse, but uh, your first one should uh, be attacks. If you already have an attack buff, then the Sloppity Bile Piper Mortal Wounds on sixes to hit become the best uh, buff to stack next. As Plague Drones, but they can be good. Um... Their, um, their real advantage is in their mobility more than their strength as a hammer or an anvil, though. Uh, so that's definitely something to keep in mind. And finally, Plague Bearers. These guys are mostly on defense. Their first buff generally should be plus one to attacks if you're against a five up or a six up save sloppity bile pipers mortal wounds are better against a four up save or better so this is one where you have to be sort of mindful of you know what buffs you're giving out versus uh, what enemy units are doing so if your first buff uh, is, or if your only buff, rather, is Sloppity Bile Piper, and you're going up against a 5-up save, then your best trick is to go with plus 1 attack. If there's already a plus 1 attack in play, or if the save of the enemy unit is 4-up or better, then it's better to go with the Mortal Wounds from Sloppity Bile Piper. Note, nowhere in here is the Ren from Spoilpox Scrivener. Uh, that is generally worse. You want to go with Mortal Wounds from Sloppity Bile Piper or Extra Attacks from either one of those. Um, Plague Bearers, not by nature a hammer unit, but they can deal some damage when you start stacking up buffs on them. Um, you know, if you've got a Great Unclean one and Sloppity Bile Piper and Spoil Pox Scrivener, they're throwing four attacks each. Uh, or they're throwing three attacks each doing mortals on sixes, which would be the uh, higher damage output option most of the time. So, I mean, they, they throw some crazy damage if you get them all buffed up, which is kind of, you know, the general theme of all of this. We want to stack up our buffs on our demons to get the most out of them. So, general conclusion here. Uh, Spoilpox Scrivener's Rend is consistently not a good option out of all of the offensive buffs. It's always the worst one. Sloppity Bile Piper's Mortal Wounds are generally the best buff to give to your units, and overall, they're probably the best buff that Nurgle has in its arsenal to hand out to units. There's really only, you know, small corner cases where it's not your best choice to use. Um, extra attacks, always good. Um, but when you have the mortal wounds available from Sloppity Bile Piper, those are usually going to be better. And just the note that I wanted to talk about on defensive buffs, it's hard to quantify how good Sloppity Bile Piper's fart ability is. That is, uh, the ability that prevents enemy pile-ins. So let's just look at an example 
an enemy unit. This is a pretty standard looking attack profile. One attack each, four up, three up, no rend, one damage. Um, if you use the plus one to save from Spoilpox Scrivener on a five up save unit, which would be Plague Bearers, um, you'll get one and two thirds damage, about two damage. Um, however, if your Sloppity Bile Piper farting can prevent three of those 10 models from piling in and making attacks, then you're only at 1.56 damage. So you can see it really depends on how many enemy units are going to be prevented from getting into combat. But the theme that we're sort of getting here is that the buffs on Sloppity Bile Piper are generally better. And, you know, you might not have room in your list to run both. So if you have to pick one, Sloppity Bile Piper is generally going to be your better choice. Uh, and Spoilpox Scrivener is probably going to hang out in your summoning pool. But in the event that you do use Spoilpox Scrivener, he's going to make you a lot more defensive with um, that plus one to save buff. But our MVP overall sloppity bile piper coming on in with his plus one to attack his mortal wounds on sixes to hit and the unbelievable fart that uh, prevents enemy pile-ins uh, also noted here that sloppity bile piper affects all units all demon units within 14 inches and spoilpox scrivener only affects friendly plague bearer units and it's only one at a time that it can provide buffs to so that should give us a good glimpse here into what we're going to be seeing and uh what uh we might want to be looking at for list building i know my current list that i'm working with is running two sloppity bile pipers uh kind of one each power pairing with a unit of plague bearers or having one covering two units of plague bearers and then the other one following plague drones. Um, you know, just sort of scenario matchup dependent on how I would deploy those. But this just gives you a general idea of uh, what to do with these guys. Hopefully this has been informative for you. Thank you for watching as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified of when our very irregular new videos arise. You can support us over on Patreon and you can always find us on Facebook and Twitter. The links are down there in the description. I tend to be pretty active on both of those. So if you want to get at me and uh, ask questions personally, I'm always happy to chat away. I'm also active in the uh, Nurgle WhatsApp chat and the uh, Nurgle Facebook group as well. Um, I'm actually a moderator there as well. So uh, plenty of places to get to me if you want to talk. Um, always happy to talk things and not just Nurgle um, here for you guys and all of your Age of Sigmar needs and hey if you need something else in your life just need somebody to talk to for some reason I'm always happy to lend an ear so with that I thank you all once again and I'll talk to you all later